Hi everyone, this is my August TBR. Okay, so this month I am getting back into swing of things after taking a sort of relaxed TBR last month of a bunch of rereads. I have a very ambitious set of goals. Today I'm going to be showing you all the books I plan on reading outside of the Canadian Readathon. I'll have an entire TBR radio dedicated specifically to that readathon. These are all the books I plan on reading. Most of them are for secret TBRs that aren't so secret. You're welcome to guess what they're for. These are the books I'm hoping to read. So let's start with my first TBR, see if you can guess what it is. The first one's going to be A 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Mar Mar Marquez. And this is a magical realism. I don't know if it's historical fiction, but it's about a sort of generational family story. I really like this cover. First off, the texture feels amazing. And also the cover itself, I like it. There were several choices on Book Depository and I chose this one because I thought it was very sensual. Sensual, let's go there. Next is The Gone World by Tom Swedelitsch. Sweater Litsich. Sweater Litsich. Nope. Nope. I'm Tom Sweaterlich. And this is, I think, a time travel story, horror thriller. I'm not entirely sure what it's about. Shannon Moss is an agent for the secret division of the Naval Criminal Investigation Service in Western Pennsylvania. She must solve the murder of a Navy SEALs family and locate blah, blah, blah. Horror thriller time travel. That's what matters here. Next up, another time travel story, is The Shining Girls by Lauren Bukes and this one, this cover. I don't really like this orange color in general, but this shade of orange, it's like a neon almost, and I, I really like it. And this, this is a time travel story about the serial killer who is killing women through time. Obviously, it's not that I, I love serial killers. I don't, it's just the concept. So much fun, and honestly, I feel like if you're familiar with what I'm trying to revolve this around, I think you might be able to figure it out. If you're not familiar with what the theme is related to, then of course you can't. Blake Crouch's The Pines, the first book in the Wayward Pines trilogy. I don't know a lot about this. I'm pretty sure it's also time travel, but also just weird, maybe investigation type story. Next is just Time Machine by H.T. Wells. That works as a classic, actually. I've been really behind on my classics in the last few months, and this month I am hoping to fix that. Next up is Harbor by John Ajavidi Alindiquist. And all I know is this is a horror story. This is the author of Let Me In, or Let the Right One In, this French horror story that got turned into a movie. I don't know a lot about the story, honestly. I chose this because when I was trying to find books related to the theme I'm going for, they recommended this author as a kind of author who has the right tone for the theme that I'm referencing here. So that's all of that secret TBR. I'd love to hear guesses on what you think it's the theme is, is about. Let's move on to my next theme, which is actually reading booktuber favorites. You can now guess which booktuber it is. First off is Friday Black by Nana Kwame uh, Araji Bunya. And this is a series of short stories that is science fiction and involves around um, African culture and race. I'm really excited. I think this will be, I don't know, it's like a really fascinating read. Next is going to be Jasmine Ward's Sing Unbird Sing. And I'm pretty sure this is a fiction story, not nonfiction. I've heard great things about this. I don't know what, what it's about. I just know that it's apparently really good. Next is a nonfiction book, which is Barracoon, The Story of a Last Slave by Zora Neale Hurston, which is a series of essays, I think, or maybe it's just a cohesive story that's been edited from essays. I'm not sure. But this came out 2018, and it's supposed to be about this person who was thought to be the last slave, at least during her time. To my understanding, I don't think he ended up being the very last one, but I still think it'd be a great story to read and a really educational one. This is also the book that I'm classifying as my anti-racist read of the month, which, if you didn't know, I, it's a new goal of mine, which is to have at least one book dedicated to anti-racism per month. Next up is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Poem type novel, spoken word, audiobook. I'm excited for this one. I think it's gonna be great. Honestly, all of these books, I think they're gonna be great. Those are the end of that secret TBR and of my secret TBRs in general, but there are still a few more books that I wanna try and get to that are outside of those and the Canadian Readathon. The first one is the book club pick for Jesse from Motaz and Books, non-binary book club, which is The Death of Vivek Oji by Akweki Amezi. Akweki Amezi. I don't know a lot about this. I know it's LGBT contemporary, and I guess since it's around, I bought non-binary character. Normally, I wouldn't read a book that I don't own, but I would like to get into following along with a non-binary book club, and it's easier just to do that without having to buy the new book every month, outside of an audiobook, of course. Next up is the book club for the Literally Dead Book Club with Books and Lala, which is Colson Whitehead's Zone 1, 
a novel about zombies, apparently. I'm pretty sure this is the July read, which is why I'll probably end up reading it before the Canadian Readathon, because I need to get it out of the way before they do the book club. And then lastly is a book that I started back, I think, in March, and I'm like halfway through it. It's called Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, How We Know It's Really Real in a World Increasing Full of Fake by Stephen Novella with Bob Novella, Cara Santa Maria, Jay Novella, and Evan Bernstein. And this is just a skeptic's nonfiction book. It's almost like an encyclopedia of how to understand the world in a systematic and, and scientific skeptic-based way, as well as being familiar with basic human bias and other forms of uh, misinformation and deception in science and pseudoscience and so on and so forth. I was reading this with my sister like a few chapters a week and then she ended up not being able to to, to keep up with it. So I put it on hold. I'm hoping we're gonna get to it this month. I don't know if she'll be able to. If not, I still wanna finish it. Luckily, it's, it's only gonna take me a few hours to finish that last section. I'm ready to get through it because one of my most anticipated reads of this year it came out a couple years ago. I, I'm a big fan of The Skeptic's Guide, the podcast. And it's just, a lot of this, what's in the book, is from the podcast, but it's in a more organized fashion. It was really well told, so it's a great read now. But it's also the kind of book that you can think, didn't I hear about this thing that I'm hearing now? Like, haven't I learned about this? And you can go look in the, in the index, find what you want to find, and say, oh, this is why this is bullshit. Easy breezy, cover girl, something like that. August has started, a couple updates. One, I did not finish the fifth season last month, so this is also a part of my TBR for August. I'm also gonna be reading How Long to Black Future Month by N.K. Jemison. This is for the book club hosted by Erica at The Broken Spine. I just found out that she does a monthly book club, which I think it's fairly new, and I figured it's a great opportunity, a great motivation motivation to keep me focused on some really good books. I want to keep up with N.K. Jemison, but I know how easy it is to end up not focusing on something I really want to read. So I like the idea of having this another book club to help motivate me. The same reason why I want to participate in the non-binary book club. All the books I saw on that list were books like, oh my god, I've been wanting to read that. And it's just that extra push that I love having. In regards to book club pick, I haven't started this one yet. And the readathon, the Canadian readathon, is starting on Monday. And I still have to finish the fifth season. So I'll have to finish this in, the, like in a day on top of two hours of the fifth season. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen. This may end up getting dropped. We will see. Because I also remember there are a couple e-arcs I need to finish. There is a new memoir by Sarah Seeger. And there's also a new book called Luster, which I've had for such a long time. And it's coming out. So I'd like to get to that this month. I'll probably just buy the audiobook when it comes out. It'll help me get through it. But those are two books that have been high priorities for me on Nick Galley. And I just have been letting them slide under the rug. Is that the terminology? So those are all the extra books. Flashback to old me. And I believe that's all the books I plan on reading. Let me know if you've ever read any of these. Let me know what you think my sacred TBRs are. Let me know what you're reading. And as always, stay safe and I'll see you next time.